So we have a Black China who is reacting to Tokyo Tony, her mother, and what her mother is saying. And guys, this video isn't funny at all. Like this is not even for entertainment. I just find this stuff to be quite sad. I watch you on We, and when I watched you, I saw your mom, Tokyo Tony, who I happen to like, along with her boyfriend. Hey guys, it's Marad Marad. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this video. My merch, my merch, my merch. Justine is keeping it freaking clean. Do you understand? A new video is out. My Patreon. A new video, guys. We get personal on the Patreon. We we talk about more in depth topics, and I just would appreciate if you guys and shout out to all the patrons that have come out nowhere in the last forty eight hours. Even more of you guys. I'm loving it. Let's get straight into this. So we have Black China who has reacted to um, Tokyo Tony. Tokyo Tony did an interview and was really going in on Black China, saying that she's not happy with Black China, saying that she dislikes her, um, her um, that she wants to be her and mimic her, just like Nicki Minaj does and Cardi B does. Everybody wants to mimic, and you know, it seems like we have this delusion. I guess at wits is it's the devil. It's the devil. Or period. maybe y'all are just alike. No, we're nothing alike. She mimicked me, just like Mickey Minaj did, just like Cardi B and any motherfucking body else did. Mimic me. Okay? But it's only one me. Tokyo Tony, like a delusion of grandeur. She's maybe like a hallucination or something, or has the idea that, you know, that everybody's trying to be her. It's kind of paranoia, that she's not pr proud of her accomplishments. And I just feel like, you know, perhaps Tokyo Tony could be suffering from something, I believe, from what I'm seeing and what this person could be displaying. I'm not diagnosing anybody, but that's what I see from, you know, f front value. And it seems, of course, the relationship has been absolutely tumultuous and just very sad. But um, we can see that Black China has been on the receiving end of a lot of abuse that she has gone through from the hands of her mother. And it's just really an absolute shame. Um, it really, really is. Not the same Black China is innocent, but uh, I don't think she has done as much as what Tokyo Tony is claiming. And it seems that Tokyo Tony seems to be a very, very damaged individual. And I just wonder what happened in her childhood to pass on this chain reaction. And you know, what this also includes is two words, generational trauma, which we can also see that can take place from many different avenues. Now, Black China is on the Wendy Williams show. Why is she on the Wendy Williams show after Wendy shaded her? I really don't know. Maybe they're friends. Maybe she was joking. Maybe it was a back and forth to kind of help her or benefit her. I really don't know. But she responded back saying that, you know, I don't have anything to say. I'm here to only focus on me and my kids. That's just my mother. She's going to be how she is. I can't change it. Can we talk? Yeah. Okay. Talk, it's fine. Talk, Ange. <laughs> I mean, listen, I mean, I, there's nothing for me to really say. I can't, like, change anybody. I feel like, you know, my mom, she's set in her ways, and I can't, like, really dwell on anything in the past. You know what I mean? I just have to focus on, like, my kids and, like, my career and the things yeah. that I have coming up and just remain positive and, like, prayed up. That's honestly, like... That's just like the only thing that's on my mind. And this understanding of I can't change somebody and um, that's just how they are is an understanding that you get to after a very long time. Because a lot of the time when your mother or your parents act like this towards you, you sometimes feel like it's your fault. You internalize all of this stuff. You internalize these issues and you don't really know what to do because you feel like, you know, you were the bad child. You were the one. Something to do with maybe um, religious, spiritual warfare several different reasons but you always internalize it and blame yourself which allows you to become an individual as you grow up with low, low self-esteem low i mean social interactions and so many different personality variants that could take place from having a very you know um tumultuous relationship with your mother where you face a lot of abandonment so when you get to that understanding of this is who this person is Tokyo Tony, my mother, this is who she is. I cannot change that person. I am not in control of that person. The only person that I'm in control of is of me. I'm in control of my own self. That is obviously a form of development and progression. Maybe she is going to therapy, but you only come to these um, realizations as you get older in life because it's hard to deal with somebody. Sometimes you have to close the door on your parents. Sometimes the door is closed on them. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but it, it can be correct. If, it's, if they're not right for you as you get older and they cause you a lot of trauma and a lot of pain, regardless of whoever they are you have to close that door now granted the door is very hard to close depending on how close that person is to you but just because they're close to you doesn't mean that they should you know take use of it it doesn't mean that they should take advantage of you and that may even be your mother or your father and if they can't come to that understanding and they're still becoming quite abusive and they're shouting this and screaming this then they've got to go snip 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 and what you will realize that once you close the door or you limit that contact 
Sometimes you can't close the door, but you can limit that content severely from 95% to 5%, you will feel better. You will feel like you're worthy of something. Sometimes you don't feel like you're worth of love, of understanding, of affection, because you have these relationships with the people that are close to you that continuously bring you down and literally spread toxic from their own mouths right up to your noses. And you're filled with it and you look so down upon yourself and you need to, you need to change your environment. You need to change who you are as a person and around you and you begin to feel better. I feel like Black China looks great. I feel like whatever work she's done definitely suits her but I feel like this whole conversation that I'm having about this is a very serious conversation because you have a lot of people who go through stuff with their parents and they don't have the worst type of stuff that you go through some people when they're your family because you can't escape them you see them every weekend you see them here or maybe you live with them you can't even hide in your bedroom for so long and then you have nightmares dreams and you wake up and you're with them 24 7 and it can really damage you it's like carbon monoxide it will come into you and you won't even know that it's coming into you and it will change you as an entire person because you're seeing this negativity every single day because you live in this negativity and it's hard to even pull yourself out of this negativity because you don't even have financial freedom or the ability to do so and even if you did have financial freedom the confidence to do so when you're brought up in such ethnic cultures the idea of leaving the house early is also looked down upon and it's frowned upon and it's like f you to all that nonsense because sometimes you're going to leave for your own mental health sometimes you're going to leave for yourself and sometimes you can leave because you can afford to leave and there's nothing wrong with it because your own mental health comes first and foremost i know i've turned this video into an entire lecture but i do feel like this is just a very important discussion and i wanted to handle it and talk about it very properly this is not just mere entertainment we don't just talk about pop culture in an in, in, in entertainment way we also talk about it in a psychoanalysis way or we are, and you know analyze stuff more deeply and why this takes place but this relationship between black china and tokyo tony has been going on for a very long time number one and number two it's not the first that we've seen of these there are a plethora of relationships where mothers and daughters don't get on sons and fathers don't get on and sons and mothers don't get on daughters and fathers don't get on it just it happens and it's absolutely sad parents don't have the understanding just because they can have children doesn't mean that they deserve children just because people can have children doesn't mean they know how to look after them because sometimes people just don't and when you realize that that's that that's who that person is they did the best they could when you get to these understandings you are beginning a process of healing a process of healing is never finite there's no ending to it it's continual and it will be to the last breath that you give and you go into your grave this is what healing does it's a long process it's a strenuous process it's an easy process it's a fulfilling process it's a refreshing process it happens for a long time be it with therapy be it with cbt be it with talking to people having conversations and you know it can be very difficult then when you want to transcend yourself into a relationship with an individual because you feel like you're not worthy of love so therefore when this person treats you like crap in a relationship you stay for much more longer because you feel like that's what your life is worth because that is what you've been given throughout your entire life and it roots from your parents it roots from your childhood environment and you now put that onto your adulthood relationships be it even work relationships you may be pushed over to the side be given more work to do than your other colleagues they already know that they can take advantage of you and you feel like that is what you're worth if you don't know your worth as an individual it become it becomes very troublesome this is why you have to remove yourself from a negative environment it's very hard to move, remove yourself from a parental home as a negative environment because you feel like you number one you can't do it and finances also is a major issue and then the ethnic culture looking down upon leaving it becomes very strenuous but once you remove yourself from that negative situation and you give yourself a month, you will see the changes that you are making as a person and it is absolutely shocking. It is beyond shocking the changes that you can make as a person once you remove yourself from these negative situations and you don't realize they're negative because they're your parents. That's the even mad part. You don't even think that you're, you're in a negative um, situation even though you feel sad because you've, what? One word guys, one word, you have normalized. You have normalized this entire situation. You have normalized this entire situation and it can become quite worrying, it, it genuinely can. Anyways guys, I have gone off a tangent. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button guys for daily and consistent content. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video. I got a whole phone call to make. I'm just a busy guy.